to the final video in our manipulation of decimals series, where we're going to be looking at rounding decimals. Let's jump right in. So here we've got some questions and we're looking to round these numbers to one decimal place, okay? So let's have a look at the first example. We're going to go through the rule as we look at these questions. So first of all, we want to round 4.56 to one decimal place, okay? So first of all, I need to find which number is in the first decimal place. In this case, it is the five. In the 4.56, the five is the first decimal place, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a line after the five, and then I'm gonna ask myself, is the number after that blue line five or bigger? If it is, I need to round the, the number in the first decimal place up by one. If it's less than five, I need to keep it the same. In this case, with 4.56, the number after the first decimal place is six, that's five or bigger. So the five turns into a six. So 4.56 to one decimal place is 4.6, okay? Second example, I've got 2.63. Now, which number is in the first decimal place? It is the six. So I'm going to draw a line after it. Now, is the number after the first decimal place five or bigger? In this case, it's a three, which is less than five, meaning this six in the first decimal place stays exactly as it is. So 2.63 to one decimal place is 2.6. And then We've got 3.54 to one decimal place. I'm gonna, the five is in the first decimal place column. So I'm gonna draw a line after that. Now, is the number after the first decimal place five or bigger? Well, it's four, so that isn't five or bigger. So that five is gonna stay as it is, meaning that 3.54 rounded to one decimal place is 3.5, okay? Now, there's a trick question on this topic that you will sometimes see. And that is when you try to round a number like 2.99, okay? So let's go through our method. So if I round 2.99, the nine, the first nine is the first decimal place. I draw a line after it. Now, what's gonna happen, because so the second number now is bigger than nine, it's bigger, it's, it is five or bigger than five. So that means I have to round up the nine to 10. Now I can't just write 2.10, because that wouldn't be right at all. So what happens is the nine, so let's go let's work backwards here. The nine will turn to a zero and I have to add the one from the 10 into, onto this two here. So two plus one is three. So 2.99 to one decimal place is 3.0. Now I know what you're all thinking. We never write numbers with a decimal place if the number, if the number in the decimal place is zero. And you're absolutely right, but for these questions, when, when you're being asked to round a number to one or two decimal places, if the first decimal in the in the answer is actually zero, you do have to leave it in. And that just shows that just shows the person who's reading your work that you have correctly rounded to one decimal place and that the first decimal place is a is a zero. Okay. So let's have a look at a couple of more examples rounding to two decimal places. So we've got three numbers here. Now, we're rounding these ones to two decimal places. So we're not trying to find the first decimal place. We're trying to find the second one this time. So in 5.1243, the two is in the second decimal place. So I draw my line going down. Now, I look at the number after the line. Is that number five or bigger? Well, it's a number four. So it isn't five or bigger, so the two is gonna stay the same, and so is the one, the first decimal place. So our answer for 5.1243, rounded to two decimal places, is 5.12. Second example now, 3.2594. Again, the number in the second decimal place is the five. Let's draw a line after it. Does the number after the five make it round up? Well, the number after that is a nine, so that is going to make it round up, but only the five is going to change, okay? So 3.2594 to two decimal places will be 
six. The five has turned into a six, okay? Have a look at the last one here now. So 9.8956, once again, I'm just gonna find which number is the second, dec second decimal place. It is the nine, I draw a line after it. Now be careful, you something weird's gonna happen here now. So the number after the nine is five, so that's obviously five or bigger. So that's gonna make the nine round up. But because the nine rounds up to 10, we have to add one to the next number, okay? So we've got 9.9, zero okay so just go over that again because the number after the second decimal place is five that rounds the nine up to ten so the nine will turn into a zero and we have to add one to the eight so that's where we get nine point nine zero and just like the trick example we gave in the last slide because we're rounding to two decimal places you have to make sure there's two decimal places in your answer even if one of them is a zero okay and that just shows whoever's asking the question that you have correctly rounded to two decimal places, okay? Let's have a look at some questions. So here we've got two sets of questions. The first set asking you to round to one decimal place, the second asking you to round to two decimal places, okay? So pause the video and have a go at these questions. Best of luck. Okay, and here are the answers. Very well done if you got all those right, especially the trick ones towards the ends of each part, okay? Let's have a look at the checking question now. So, the checking question, I want you to round the number below to three decimal places, okay? So, pause the video and have a go. Best of luck. Okay, so, this question is slightly different to the questions you've been doing all lesson, but hopefully you figured out that because I'm asking you to round to three decimal places, the only thing is going to change is which number I look at. So which number is the third decimal place? Well, it is this line here. So I'm going to draw a line just after it. And then I'm going to ask myself, is the number after the third decimal place five or bigger? It is. Nine is definitely bigger than five. So the nine is going to round up. But remember, if we add one to nine, that's going to make it 10. So we actually have to add one to the number, the next number to it, the four, okay? So our answer, rounding 2.149920 to three decimal places will be 2.150, okay? Just to remind you, because the nine is rounded up to 10, the nine turns to a zero, and we have to add one to the four, okay? So that's why we get 2.150. And we have to leave that zero on the end to show that we have rounded to three decimal places. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next lesson. Bye now.